आने वाले सेशन में इनको कवर कर लेंगे सर गुड इवनिंग सर वेलकम टू ऑलिंग बोर्ड सर थैंक यू uh sir there are lots of questions in the student mind uh, i started getting these questions on the telegram group of mine on a daily basis they first want to know the profile of ecg cpu that what will be the role of ecg cpu uh, how it will be different from a bank pu see first of all before uh, getting to know about the role of any official who is going to work in an organization first yes, we to know what is the profile of that organization what type of business this organization is in correct sir ecgc is a very highly specialized insurance company it's called yeah. a credit insurance company uh, which is a very green field uh, industry which has uh, sh shown growth only after the second world war okay it, it actually started during the first world war itself but the the real growth has started only subsequently the second world war no there are about uh, 40 45 countries in the world who are having schemes similar to that of pcgc okay the purpose of such an organization to come into existence is the uh, very volatile nature of uh, the uh, worldwide business number 1 number 2 is the economies themselves either due to the the political setup there or due to the economic uh, you know unsettlements that are taking place or due to a worldwide phenomenon like you know what happened in covid or sometime in 2008 you had the yes uh, <coughs> recession and all yeah so in Ru russia ukraine war russia uh, ukraine war is uh, one sri lanka economy is disintegration down. disintegration of the erstwhile uh, commonwealth of independent states uh, correct sir so uh, i'm empty number of uh, things you know which can throw a customer out of business in case if he is going to deal with such an economy or a buyer who is based in that economy yes, see sir. normal misconception any indian customer has in his mind is that he has to be absolutely careful when he is doing business within india but when he does business overseas he need not have to worry because for him all the overseas buyers are good people okay this is the highest misconception that customer has that yeah. is, they tend to believe an overseas unknown customer than a known customer who is say in kanpur or delhi or in calcutta so One second, I will switch off my mobile. So that, no issues. Um, so that is the uh, real beauty of uh, Indian business people. Yeah. And uh, the most important uh, aspect, another is is that people do not think insurance as an investment hmm. or a safeguard. They always treat it as a cost. Yeah. you always look for a cost and benefit see like that you know i take an lic policy do i get a business you know benefit of this benefit policy? of it this type yeah. of thing so uh, this is this type of industry what they call as the credit insurance industry uh, addresses two major factors one is a buyer with whom mm -hmm. an indian exporter supplier is going to deal with mm -hmm. the second is the country where he is dealing with to which is import now when you talk of a buyer the buyer can either default in this payment hmm. or he may become a bankrupt person that is also in a foreign country foreign country yeah and when and also he may refuse to accept the goods without citing any reason whatsoever this yeah. one set of this second is when you deal with a country the buy the country may go through a very severe uh, financial crisis Mm -hmm. or a political crisis or a combination of both mm -hmm. or a problem from with a neighboring country like you know what is happening right now in uh, russia ukraine yeah so this these are the uncertainties uh, which an indian supplier has to face correct so, sir this organization provides that comfort level mm -hmm. that should you go to these markets go with a higher confidence that is there is somebody who is going to take care of your uh, distress situation in case you fail to realize your payments this is a very basic purpose of ecg being ecg sir hmm. uh, it was established in 1957 it was called as an export risk insurance corporation 
Yet mm. it has taken so many names. Today it is called the CCGC. Yeah. 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 And apart from providing uh, the insurance support for the customers, now a customer, if he has to do a business, he should also get bank finance in adequate uh, amount. Yeah. Now, one of the reasons why a customer is not able to provide uh, get an adequate bank finance for his export business is that he is not able to provide adequate collateral support. Mm -hmm. Banks always look for a collateral support that he has to provide a, a, a deposit or a property or whatsoever, whatever is there are a guarantee from a third party who is a very of sound means and all. Now, in order to provide a comfort level to the banks, and also to build the collateral deficit, if there are anything, ECGC mm -hmm. also has come up with the insurance schemes for the banks. Okay. So that they can liberally lend to an exporter customer. Okay. But this, you, the purpose orientation overtakes security over, uh, orientation so that the purpose is achieved. Indian exports have to thrive. They have to increase in manifold. So the government has uh, advised ECGC and right from 1960 onwards, ECGC has credit insurance schemes for the banks. Earlier, they were called as guarantee schemes. Today, they are called as credit insurance cover for banks. So this is broadly, you know, the business that ECGC caters to. This is done both for our commodity and service exports where the payments are realized within a maximum of 12 months. And yeah. also, it also extends to projects overseas. Somebody goes and sets up a, a project overseas, is going to say, you know, build a bridge or is going to construct a road. Those things are also insured. That's what we call as a medium and long-term exports. So in a nutshell, whatever exports that are taking place from India, be they commodity exports or service exports or projects, or somebody goes and invests in an overseas country, his mm -hmm. investments are also being taken care of. That's what we call as investment insurance. So okay. these are the broadly the schemes of ECGC. In addition, as mandated by the government, it also provides what is known as a national export insurance account. It acts as a trust where the government says that this is a country which is having severe problems, but you are for commercial reasons, you are not able to provide support. You provide support under our comfort. So we okay. have projects being underwritten on behalf of the government by the mm -hmm. NEA Trust, which is being administered by the ECGC. This is broadly about the ECGC, number one. Yes, sir. Now, coming to the position. Sir, sir, can I stop you for please. a minute? Yeah. Please. Uh, so, uh, guys, those are watching the session, I want to highlight two points told by the sir. Uh, the main two points, which sir told, that is ECGC is first providing the insurance to the Indian exporters. Those are dealing with the foreign countries. So for the trade related to their exports or services, what they can do is they can take the insurance from the ECGC. So in the inappropriate situations, when they are facing any type of loss, which are uncertain in the future. So such type of uncertain loss covered by ECGC. The second point which Sir told that was ECGC also to provide investment insurance. It means when any exporter in India or any manufacturer who is doing the exports in India, they need loan from the bank. That bank can take the insurance policy against that loan or that investment. Am I correct, sir? No. See, even for doing his commodity export, suppose he is doing, say, if he has to procure the raw material, convert it into a product and ultimately export, he requires finance at two levels. One is a pre-shipment finance. Correct. For the purpose of procuring Manufacturing, packing, preserving, and final export. Okay. That is called a pre shipment finance. Now, yeah. once he, for that, he requires money at the pre shipment stage, which is a working capital finance. When a bank provides a working capital finance, that is being supported or that is being guaranteed, that is being insured by ECGC against the failure of the customer that is exported to repay that money to the bank. That is the comfort level. That is okay. a collateral. Okay. That's not only in pre-shipment. Suppose he makes shipment. Now the pre-shipment gets liquidated. Now he has a post-shipment liability. That is the bill mm -hmm. is discounted or purchased or negotiated. Mm -hmm. Now he still runs the risk of not paying the bank because ultimately if the buyer doesn't pay, then his money is not received yet. Correct. The overseas bank receives the money, but it doesn't transmit money. Again, the bank is running into risk. 
So that is also being protected. So what is provided is a working capital finance insurance cover. That is one. Okay. What I was talking of is an investment is that an Indian exporter going and investing in an equity of an overseas company. Mm -hmm. Existing or a new company, that is, he is setting up a company overseas and he is investing there. Now his money is stuck there, or in if money, you say he has to get dividends, he has to earn profits and repatriate and all. No, that yeah. is what we call as an expropriation risk. That is also being insured. That is basically under the medium and long term. As far as the short term business, which is a major chunk of ECGC business, it's a two risk that is two portfolios are there. One is for the exporter customers. The second is for the banker customers, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, sir. Now, uh, coming uh, to the ECGC PO, yeah, uh, we were all they, they are all called, you know, very, very in a beautiful name, they are called as executive officers. Okay. So, the day they enter, they are an executive. ECGC is a 100% officer oriented organization, unlike commercial banks and all, who don't have the hassles of, you know, running around behind your clerk or a senior assistant and all to put up the papers. No, you deal the things right at your level itself. Because it's 100%, only supporting staff is there, like the sub staff and other things, they are there. Other than that, it's a 100% officer oriented. The entire process originates from you, ends with you. And it's a 100% computer savvy organization. One of the oldest public sector uh, enterprises, which was computerized way back in the year 1975 or 76. One of the oldest. Today, its entire operations are computerized. Nobody, though manual things are there in the files and everything, but most of the things take place only on the system. system. Even the customers are uh, given a logging facility and they can log in and see what is the status of their firm. So it's a very niche organization, uh, provides an excellent environment to work. And uh, most important is that it is not there in every nook and corner of India. It is available, on, it is there only in important export centers. Export centers are normally you know, a city of a sizable population. So one has the comfort level of working. See, you don't have to worry about your, you know, children's education or living there and everything. So to begin with, uh, it provides not only a good environment to work and a good place to work. You won't find in a very small, uh, you know, village or a town, a branch, a branch of PCGC. It is not yes. a Correct, sir. Uh, students are worried about the posting multiple time I have seen. Yeah, posting when it comes to, I will also talk about that. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> then, um, um, as I said, you know, uh, it is since it is providing an opportunity to work with similar organizations overseas, you deal with credit rating agencies, credit information agencies, debt collection agencies, and your own counterparts, which come under an association of credit insurers called the Burn Union, you have tremendous opportunities to interact with them and enrich your knowledge for your own benefit and also for the benefit of the organization. This is not available to any other uh, officer who works in any other organization unless he works in a specialized you know, sell or this one. Here, any person who works in any other dep any department or a branch field officer or field officer, a regional office or a head office has an access to a worldwide connection. And uh, organization provides for training facilities overseas. You can participate in seminars. You can attend meetings. You can even go on assignments. If you are a highly skilled official, you go on assignment, a teaching assignment overseas, or you set up an, a particular department, or you review a scheme of a similar, because we are regarded as one of the very pioneer agencies in the Southeast Asian region, where we have enabled several other credit insurance organizations in Sri Lanka, Singapore, Malaysia, Indonesia, and all to set up similar organizations and also to improve the schemes. So this is one excellent opportunity yeah, officer who is going to enter ECGC is going to get over a period of time. <clears throat> so, in a nutshell, a PC, ECGC probationary officer, 
uh, is uh, the, the job is not only lucrative it is quite uh, interesting challenging it provides uh, really a self satisfaction i can uh, speak for myself mm. i was in a commercial bank i, um, I was drawing more salary uh, when i joined ecgc much more salary in the commercial bank i had to sacrifice almost 1000 rupees to join icgc way back in 1982 see 1000 rupees those days yes sir okay. it, it was a huge i i found the commercial bank where i was working i will not generalize for all commercial banks yeah, yeah. The commercial bank where i was working i was thinking that i am not getting the type of uh, the 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 uh, the urge to work that i i am capable of delivering so um, uh, the switch was there and switch proved very beneficial and um, uh, as i was interact with you uh, in 20 years i got seven promotions <laughs> yes uh, i think nothing was stopping not only me any deserving candidate um, will have no hassle no hurdle in you know climbing up the ladder and that is the beauty of this organization as far as the pure i will stop at this level more we can deliberate once we have uh, similar interactions uh then the growth opportunities yes sir now there are minimum levels of experience one has to put in like you know a 3 year as a first level of executive officer entitled him to get next promotion unlike commercial banks where it first to second level takes 5 years and here there also again one is not certain that here here it is reasonably certain because of the size of the organization see you have less than 600 employees including support staff and you are spread in almost uh, 43 uh, centers and you are spread in another four regional offices and you have a huge setup in head office in bombay at uh, four or five locations so the opportunities are plenty yes sir so <clears throat> the growth is not going to be a stopping factor for any performing officer you don't have to look to any godfather you don't have to really tie yourself so you don't have to have a license with somebody above and all i can very honestly tell you as well as those who are watching this i had no godfather all through my service i was only i was working very sincerely for the organization its welfare and its development and that saw me through on every occasion in fact many times even though because i was working in some other outside centers also the bosses who interviewed have never seen me but they have seen my work so any person who joins this i would say not only for this organization any organization but more specific because organization is very small and uh, you are well known See, if you go to a commercial bank and ask from this chairman, may may not know. May not know you. Uh, yes. May sir. not know you and a chief manager. Yes, sir. But here, because as a, as a, as a senior, very senior officer, as an interviewing official, also on so many panels there, mm -hmm. I knew each and every official. Right. Unka sab kundali malum hota tha. Get to know because we know what type of work he is doing, what right. is his output, everything is true. So. the smallness is sometimes very beautiful sometimes it is really disturbing also for them so mm -hmm. any performing officer will have no problems in having a very beautiful and excellent career in the ecgc ecgc growth opportunities are very growth high opportunities quite quite good quite good mm -hmm. uh, because you know uh, you see those days when we all joined Ours was the first batch of officers recruited by ECGC in the oh, year wow. 1982. Before that, there was no people used to be elevated over the years. So it was uh, Dr. Sate who was ICS Chief Secretary, Government of Maharashtra, later who became the Chairman of ECGC, Dr. D. D. Sate, who was a visionary. he found that new blood has to be infused if if this organization has to grow so mm -hmm. 23 officers were recruited in the year 1982 
and two to two, almost six to seven months of rigorous training in the management development institute at Gurgaon, and also at various uh, you know field offices, and then brought into the mainstream. Every one of us climbed the ladder. Some have uh, one has become the chairman. and almost everybody has retired at not less than a deputy general manager level so that is that is for a, a snapshot for those who are interested in you know we are looking at tcgc <clears throat> now coming to postings okay there's a golden rule in government service okay anywhere in india but tcgc is being a very human friendly organization they always look at people into their appropriateness suppose somebody is specialized in a particular skill they will try to accommodate them in the relative departments number one suppose somebody is in finance either he may be in the uh, central office or he may be in the field office looking at the finance portfolio that type of uh, first moderation is done second is there is definitely a regional bias suppose somebody we have vacancies somewhere uh, say in the north yeah. people people belonging to the region are normally accommodated people from south means they are normally which was not there in our times okay we we never had those because most of the service i spent in bombay i have yeah. only spent 3 to 4 years uh, uh, away from bombay yeah but because you know i was not found to be suitable for any place other than the head office so head office people had so much of love for me they said no 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 you are not required you are a ho material be there so but the considerations are there yeah suppose you you have you suppose you originate from bangalore mm-hmm. you fairly have a chance of working for a longer period in bangalore which is mm-hmm. not there in other organizations other you may even retire without even looking at uh, working at your uh, the the state or the region where to which you belong so yeah. postings are very really this one and normally about 5 years uh, they don't uh, they provide you a comfort of uh, at least 5 years yeah. unless uh, you get a promotion and your services are warranted elsewhere mm-hmm. otherwise even with promotion i have seen people working with promotions up to 2 3 levels for 10 years also working in the same uh, region so uh, one shouldn't be region, you know un- unduly you know concerned about the postings postings yeah uh, and uh, as i said in the beginning branches are there in only select good centers you can't say that uh, those centers you know where people cannot live because most of like you take a place like kanpur or varanasi they are reasonably good centers yes sir yes sir Correct. you have in kochi you have in bangalore chennai bangalore chennai okay, madurai or tirupur where all export centers only where Correct. the standard of living is reasonable you have a good family life you have a good social life you have good education uh, facilities so mm-hmm. that shouldn't really hinder a person who is seeking a post right? yeah yes sir uh sir i i just want to ask you you said me the the batch you were joined joined hmm. ecgc total how many officers has joined that time 23 officers 23 officers 23 officers were recruited in the 1982 okay they, the management decided they will take six officers from inside okay the people who had uh, been working as uh, assistants there see earlier they used to have a um, uh, junior clerk senior clerk assistant executive officer so people would have put in at least 8 to 10 years of service at least reach the level of assistant so okay. they were given a choice those yeah. who have become assistants out yeah. of them about six officers were taken okay. and about 18 17 18 of us uh, were recruited uh, from all over india okay and uh, we joined the mainstream too yeah sir the reason being why i was asking this question students are always worried about the number of vacancies are less even nowadays the vacancies are a uh, 100 200 400 in the organizations different organizations ecgc is also going to recruit at least 75 or maybe 100 uh, student this year so for for the deserving candidate means i feel like vacancies are huge means the good vacancies are there good from way. the organizations like ecgc right sir? i will tell you one this one i appeared for a management trainee uh, interview in the early late 70s for air india okay okay 
there were three vacancies there are almost about 250 people were interviewed in oh, bangalore yeah. okay yeah. so uh, i was like any other enthusiastic uh, young guy i also prepared very well and appeared and i, I was very much satisfied with the outcome and then i came out and you know i was you know discussing one of the senior officials who was waiting outside the senior official of bank air india he only said the rejection is more important air india than selection so <laughs> <laughs> i would always uh, see thereafter the mantra which i adopted is that which i said in my interview yeah that, uh, they said uh, see, see this organization you know we don't have many vacancy there are number of people who are appearing. what do you think your chances are like that this was question posed to me i was interviewed in uh, ashok hotel in bangalore okay. and uh, i res- my response was that sir even if it is one post it is mine oh see i was already an officer in a commercial bank at that time yeah i went with uh, this one that you know see nothing is going i am not going to lose anything my job is intact but even a person who is going to attend an interview even if it is jobless he need not have be worried unduly because the economy is growing the recruitments are huge everywhere and the opportunities are tremendous yes sir so see one thing i have found you know people most of the people tend to be in the state looking for state government employment and a very leisurely life mm-hmm. so a person who has an all india view where you know, it doesn't matter i can work and go and work anywhere opportunities are tremendous in our country today This right. 70 right. is never thought of. I'm telling you, in my days, 70 is huge because we are hardly about 400 people or so. Yeah. Correct, sir. Uh, sir, one student is asking: Is it necessary to go for the interview only in the English language? Uh, the student is from Hindi medium, so this is the question for the interview language. See, uh, choice is there. if if somebody is go, wants to answer in hindi nobody can say no but my feeling i may be wrong yeah my feeling is that the interview may be in bilingual yeah maybe in english it may also be in hindi yeah but nothing prevents a candidate from answering in hindi if he is not that proficient in english but i will hasten each one of you are uh, you know the person the, uh, the candidates enrolled with you yes sir to be good at both yeah good at both but yeah. if he prefers he can use a language of his choice it is not going to be a you know a deterrent or a factor which is not which is going against him no it will not yeah yes so yeah priyanka you were asking this question sir is saying that language is not a big matter you have to put your concept confidently in front of the panel in the yeah. language uh, you are you are comfortable second thing i always suggest to in any interview means i have gone through with the multiple interview courses till date so I always time suggesting that try to be in the language of the panel if they are raising the first question to you in english try to answer in english take permission to them Uh, if you are not comfortable in english take permission that sir can i proceed in hindi and after that you can confidently answer your you can make your answers in hindi so language is not a very big uh, matter for it i fully agree with you because it is not especially um, you know uh, in a public sector organization uh, like ecgc which wins uh, the best hindi implementation organization every year from the government of india where uh, it is a way of life for us to promote hindi yes okay it's it's definitely not a, a factor which will go against the candidate they can comfortably write from every single even if a question comes in english if he is able to understand it and answer in hindi definitely can answer i don't see any uh, yes. in that okay uh, another question came for the course vikas thakur you are asking about the paid course when it will be starting it has, it has been already listed on the hollywood platform you can go and check it now and uh, for the extra discount you can use the code aditya 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 that is fine okay chill next question sir next point sir uh, in your list sir see i had uh, talked about the career development correct sir now uh, though there are minimum level of years one has to we have seen it has been breached 
earlier an assistant can uh, a executive officer can become an assistant manager only on completion of 5 years yeah in our case they brought it down to 4 years so i joined in 82 i became a uh, you know uh, uh, officer in 86 Uh, assistant manager in eighty six. Now they further brought it down to three years. Oh, nice. So now, if see what happens when a panel is announced, mm-hmm. I have seen or we have seen in our guests that not all are quite enthusiastic in taking an elevation. See, any elevation means additional responsibilities. Okay, Good. and somebody feels you know I am comfortable with what I am doing. Okay, let me do this. and for a fear of you know getting transferred out of uh, the center or the city or the department said chalta hai let me continue in this yeah like so sometimes you see what happens you know normally uh, the proportion is 1 is to 4 or 1 is to 5 mm-hmm. suppose there is one vacancy at least five candidates are taken if that proportion is not reached then they breach this uh, you know the uh, holy uh, line uh, reka that i put uh, the four years or this one it is there it has happened in several like which does not happen in other organizations because organizations are very big and you will still find a number of people who are willing to appear for promotions yeah yes uh, <coughs> sir about the salaries and uh, other allotment which are provided by the organization can you a uh, little bit brief over <laughs> you, you have the best of everything okay you i can only put it that way because the if you talk of salary yeah it is is salaries are linked to lsc so okay. and you don't the organization see we the organization has never faced any labor problem or any industry relations problem since its inception till today it's such a harmonious organization everything is sorted out across the table and now that was only late uh, uh, 90s or the early 2000 that we our salary structure is pegged to lsc so the moment lsc revision takes place our revision is also automatic so it is all happening now good news for all your officers is that 22 is the next revision oh, nice 12 17 22 is the next revision so uh, once they join it is due in august 2022 so okay. uh, by the time they join they may have a different pay structure itself number 1 number 2 is that quite quite good salary quite quite good salary i would uh, say uh, 70 80000 is something very normal you have wo- any type of allowance you call as you know uh, kit allowance you are given a briefcase you can you are given a mobile set you are given a monthly recharge oh <laughs> and uh, <laughs> uh you are given a sodexo pass for your uh, uh, you know tiffin and other things um then uh, you have uh, <coughs> liberal travel uh, allowances and you are given a conveyance allowance if you have a two wheeler you have a four wheeler or if you don't have a, uh, a two wheeler also you get a conveyance allowance um and uh, lta is the best available and the lta you can convert it into an overseas travel as long as you fly within that stipulated uh, kilometers that they stipulate they give and uh, perks was something which is with something fantastic working environment is excellent one honest view i thought i should share with you and your friends is that yes sir all through my three decades of my service with vcgc i had never looked at either the salary or the perks as a motivating factor it came, it was quite incidental because i had at least uh, half a dozen opportunities to go overseas uh similar organizations or setting up organization but some of uh, the fascination i had because of the importance i was given in the organization the prominence that they gave me uh the which over ruled all the types of incentives that is being talked of but in today's environment where people normally say see how much i do get and nothing so i can assure the candidate that in salaries and perks it, it can match with any very leading private sector organization as well not a public sector organization like a private sector organization it gives everything 
so one ha- need not have to be worried, worried that- about the salary <laughs> <laughs> It's sir, a very good, very good structure. Very good. Yeah. Structure. Sir, uh, uh, students have few confusions. Like uh, for the interview, uh, do they have to prepare insurance awareness as well as the ECGC products? Also, banking awareness they should cover, or they can leave the banking awareness area. Generally, let them cover. It. Generally, see, they will not go into intricacies hmm. because a candidate who has never worked in a bank will not know in detail about the banks. correct sir so person who has never worked in ecgc or in an insurance industry will not know much about but a fair idea yeah the basic idea at least a fair idea that you know uh, about export credit what is an export credit export credit comprises of a pre shipment credit which is at the pre shipment stage mm-hmm. post shipment when he is making exports and giving the documents to the bank bank provides a finance that is a post shipment credit these types of general idea see awareness of banking as well as insurance is a plus point okay. plus point because he is getting into the industry because he he thinks he will get a job so he should fine tune himself to familiarize it but need not have to go how an application is appraised how a limit is fixed those things need not know that is not that no no but if a person has come from a commercial bank suppose somebody works a, in a commercial bank and yes, he comes sir. and you know appears for an interview naturally a question a few questions related to the current work which is profile may be asked yes sir may be asked right and also a tag what you have said why what is it fascinating to you that you want to leave your job cushion yeah, job job and come to here and all yeah type of thing will be there okay yeah. okay sir uh, so guys uh, these were the points from the sir side i hope that uh, the points will uh, help you uh, for the further if you if you are finding any other confusions and all please do not hesitate drop your questions in the comment box based on your questions we can plan the upcoming session also with the makna ek agla session bhi plan kar lenge and in the paid course sir is also going to discuss about uh, the things and the profile of ecgc in a little bit detailed manner few products of ecgc which you wanted to understand uh, on this sir will be taking uh, a session in the paid course uh, after that the basic of banking and insurance awareness will be taken by me i'll be taking that sessions in your live classes of this ecgc interview course uh, we will be conducting two mock interviews as well in this session first mock interview will be taken by me i'll be giving you little bit idea related to your profile and all second mock interview will be taken by sir that will be most important for you to get an a brief idea that which type of interviews you are going to face in the ecgc pure interview so this is about the course guys you guys can join it today or tomorrow uh, we are going to start the live classes soon uh, videos has been already uploaded you can use the coupon code aditya as well for the maximum discount over it sir uh, anything else you want to add in the last i would like to uh, advise the candidates that one has to be not unduly worried about this go with enormous amount of confidence prepare preparation is the key see when i when you said it's not that i do not know but i had prepared yeah i don't want to leave anything correct you know, correct sir you know unattended so preparation is a key prepare and revise go with confidence See, anything can come in the interview there will be some free questions also yeah. but you don't have to concentrate on free questions but that which concerns india concerns indian trade like wto or related things could be things where uh, you know you can really look at but don't be unduly perturbed with that you know uh, whether i can really make it and all see you have come through a very very tough process of selection which would not have been possible because unless you had put hard work Correct. and that that knowledge and that uh, you know this one uh, the output or the input uh, is already available to you 
Yeah. And the questions, most of your questions may emanate out of that only number one. Number two is you as an individual will be the target of the interviewers for a significant period of time. That is about you, your education, your upbringing, your family. Will also, there are very good human beings in the interview panel. They also look at that part. It's not purely, purely your intelligence, your you know, display of skills and all. That part also plays a very significant. So suppose some of uh, you are from a very rural background, uh, you know, you may not have the specialized skills which which can match with the person from coming from the you know big center like city or the, or well trained from institutes and all. One has to has no, need not no need to worry about, about all of these things. Don't have to worry at all as yeah. long as to go with confidence. You go with yeah. confidence and put whatever best you can and leave it rest leave the rest to the God. Right? Okay. I can give my best wishes to each one of your candidates. Uh, let them start preparing because yeah. once the results are out, maybe in another two, three weeks, the itinerary will come. Yeah. And this is a sufficient time for them to brainstorm. If uh, people, like-minded people are in the same place, all of you sit together, form small groups and uh, start discussing. Interview on this what I will need. Yeah. Uh, discuss amongst yourselves, post questions, find answers, yeah. tabulate and learn. All the very best. Thank you. Thanks a lot. So thank you guys for joining the session. Please do share the session with your friends as well. Uh, for the further connect connection with the sir and me, you guys can enroll for the course. Also, you can join the telegram group of mine. I'll be available there. Sir, GA Genius on the telegram. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Okay, guys.